Hey guys, I'm Chef Beardsley. This is just a quick video uh, to introduce you guys to my channel, introduce myself. Uh, some of you probably know me already from the live streams on uh, RC Guy Garage's uh, channel. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick video of showing the shed, what the plans are with the shed and the channel in general. So we're going to start with the most important part, which is the beer fridge. Um, everybody needs a good beer fridge and this one's probably 35 years old and still going strong that's just a table i picked up from the trash that's bruce you guys will see him chasing rc's in videos because uh he hates them but uh i got all my transmitters up there that's that right there is a uh, starter for the savage um i will be getting a fly sky noble i went to order it the other day but uh they're all sold out i am gonna get an email when they get back in stock so i will be getting out on the channel I will be unboxing it and doing a full review. Uh, I'm really excited about that radio. I have high hopes for it, so hopefully I can get my hands on it soon. My little solder setup, my uh, brake clean, which I swear by. I love brake clean. Um, this is just a little container just to keep spare parts and manuals and all that stuff. So a little tool wall right there. That's a, um, a brand new 3.3 motor. It's never been run. That's a 2.5 motor from my original Revo. And that thing has at least 25 gallons of fuel through it. Never rebuilt. Nothing. I guarantee you that'll start. I'm going to do it on video one day. And show you guys that that thing. I don't know if I got a diamond in a rough. But that thing is unkillable. Uh, spare parts. Tools. That uh, Ryobi driver is pretty legit. I do enjoy that. I almost like that as much as I like the beer fridge. Um... On the bench, I got the Mini Revo. I have a few upgrades on it. I got the cooling fins on the motor. I got the RPM parts all the way around it. Uh, the metal push rods, all that stuff. Um, these are Pro-Line uh, Beadlocks. Dirt Hogs, I think they're called, the tires. Um, pretty. It's a pretty good tire, but uh, I think they're a little heavy, to tell you the truth. I might go back to the stock ones, just for band standing backflips and all that. Um... Let's see, we got some upgrades for my DBXL uh, two-stroke, which is inside. It's not in the shed yet because I got some plans for the shed. Uh, I'm going to replace them with uh, the bearings with uh, sealed bearings. Um, we got the diffs, uh, aluminum diffs I'm going to put in there. I'm waiting on the diff covers to come in. They should be here soon, hopefully. Uh, I just got the kill switch in, uh, aluminum chassis braces. Um, all the outer wares don't want uh, dirt and all that garbage to get in there. So uh, there's going to be videos on all that. I'm going to be uh, doing like an upgrade uh, video for all that stuff. There's uh, little containers just to hold some little parts and stuff, which were actually coming handy. I picked them up at a dollar store, just screwed them right to the wall. Uh, that motor came from the trash. The guy was throwing away T Max, and I was like, "Are you throwing this away?" And he was like, "Yeah." So. I took it, got it running. Uh, I gave the T Max away to my buddy. He needed a parts truck, and I kept the motor. I think it still works. We'll we'll find something to put that in. Uh, that's an, uh, another two five motor I got off of a free Revo I picked up. Uh, can crusher for after the beer is consumed. Uh, I picked this up from Ace, which is uh, pretty convenient for like little parts and all that stuff. I like it. It holds pretty much anything I need. All that stuff. Uh, this is uh, some of my trucks. We've got the Savage 4.6X. This is a piece of a truck. I never had an issue with it. Uh, starts up. The only, It's a little bit of a bear to start. But once it's started, the thing doesn't die. Um, it's a completely stock Revo uh, 3.3. No upgrades, no nothing. Um, I'm a big Revo fan. I like the design of the truck the handling uh i know traxxas gets hate and some of the stuff they do is shady but uh i'm a big fan of the revo platform got uh my original first great first hobby grade rc which is a uh revo 2.5 uh has a 3.3 motor in it this will be on the channel um i have an issue where the rpms go up but it takes quite a while for it to get up to speed I think it's stuck in second gear. Um, so we're going to do a breakdown of that and figure out what the hell's wrong with that. 
This is another Revo 2.5 I got for free from a friend. He didn't run it anymore. So I took the motor off of it. And uh, this is just going to be a parts truck. This was probably going to get sacrificed to fix this one. Um, down here is the Max. Which is uh, super fun. Uh, good truck. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on it. Everybody and their mother's done a review. Everybody's seen it. But you will see it on the channel for bashing. I got my Jada 3.3 for some speed runs and drifting around parking lots and stuff. Picked this up for like 50 bucks from a guy on Craigslist. It's old school. It's got the old antenna and stuff. But the thing runs uh, runs well. Uh, that is an ori original Revo 3.3 when they first came out. Um, it was my dad's. Uh, he doesn't run anymore. So I just took and put it in here. Um, it has Integi shocks I'm not a fan of. Uh, they tend to blow apart and leak oil. Um, the Integi bumpers uh, strip out real easy. Uh, the only thing I think Integi is good for is, or MTG or whatever you want to call them, uh, skid plates. I like their skid plates. Uh, there is, my uh, fifth scale uh, two-stroke is in my house right now. So, like I said, you guys will be seeing upgrade videos on that. This is my bash box. Uh, when I go out bashing, I put parts, tools. Um, these drawers come out. Uh, I put fuel in the bottom, all that stuff. Uh, that's my mountain bike obviously this is not going to be in here much longer because the shed is getting an upgrade i will be putting walls up um moving the bike out of the shed into the other shed um there's going to be a workbench across this back wall probably up until that point so i can put the rc cars over there um so yeah hopefully you guys are looking for uh, hopefully you guys uh, are around to watch that I got, I'm going to be running an ethernet cable, which actually will be probably my next video from up in this direction where my shed is, I mean, where my house is. So I can come through the basement underneath my deck underground and to this back corner. So I'll have internet here. Uh, that series of upgrading my shed is going to be called blood, set, blood sweat and beers. Thanks to RC uh, Guy Garage for that awesome name. He told me I can use that. Um, if you guys aren't following, which you probably are not, like I think all you guys know me from the live streams that are on my channel right now, which I appreciate you guys subscribing before I even had a video. That's insane. But um, yeah, definitely, if you guys don't know who he is, look him up, RC Guy Garage. If I can figure out how to put a uh, link in the bottom, there'll be a link to his uh, YouTube in the description. But I'm really looking forward to or uh, I'm really, <laughs> sorry. I'm really looking forward to making uh, content for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do my best to bring you guys content as often as I can. Um, just bear with me with the editing and stuff. I'm slowly starting to get it. Um, but it's new to me. So just bear with me. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some videos with you guys. Or for you guys. Uh, some bashing videos and some rancher videos, guys. Again, I'm Chef Feardsley. Welcome to the channel.